Hey guys, I'm over at Keith's house. We're going to do a replacement of potentially a furnace and AC. So on this one, we'll replace the return drop from the return up there down to the floor. We'll put our 5-inch April Air Media cabinet in between the return and the system. New furnace down on the ground. Reuse the existing gas line and electrical. Um, our drain is vinyl. It runs down to the floor right there um, and then we'll replace from this five inch t we'll do a five inch reducer five to four reducer and then four inch into our new system refrigerant lines are over here on the other side they run out of the unit and directly up to the ceiling and straight outside over there you can see the unit is on a wall rack um, that should be everything on the inside for this system oh a humidifier we're gonna do a new humidifier. Get around here. New humidifier, we'll mount it to the supply side and bypass over to the return side or just do a powered humidifier because there's more than enough room there. Um, there's a shutoff valve right there. Um, so we should be able to, should be able to tie onto that existing shutoff valve unless you wanna solder a new one on. And run our water back down. Um, and then the next video will be the breaker panel. The breaker panel, it's a general electric load center. And we got a double 30 amp breaker for the AC. All right guys, here's our outdoor unit. Um, we'll pull this unit up. We'll set our new pad down. Um, a new electrical disconnect there on the wall and replace the refrigerant lines. Um, this is not a walkout basement. Uh, but you do have some easy access to the air conditioner. You should be able to back your truck right up in the driveway with this permission. That should be it.